Growing up, the truth was so important to me. The word professional has a bit of formality baked into it. Our friend and colleague Scotty Hunter is a young professional at heart with a bit of familiarity baked in, along with a special side of compassion. The Nine News Investigators, uncovering the truth and getting real results for you. Scotty leads up our WAFB investigative team, where that compassion is on full display. Looking out for the little guy isn't a cliche to Scotty. It's his way of thinking, his standard operating procedure. It's worth emulating. It's a great model for our younger reporters to follow. Scotty's efforts go beyond document digs and door knocks into the realm of results. You would never have a problem and I wouldn't have to be talking to Scotty Hunter at this time. And I knew WLB would get, would get it out there. The nine Just recently, his work shined a bright and glaring light on Louisiana's failed unemployment system. That very safety net that's set up to help people when they need it most, it had holes in it. The pandemic proved it, and Scotty's relentless reporting did more than point out the holes and weak spots. His reporting showed ways to fix them. This was as far as our cameras were allowed to go, but Secretary Ava Dejwa says the work is happening behind the scenes. It has been nonstop from the team, and we continue to do that. What do you say to those people who are sitting at home and they can't get benefits, but then you have almost 1,200 prisoners that are getting those benefits? His mastery of the craft aside, it's Scotty off screen that makes him our candidate for Young Professional of the Year. Scotty lost his parents at a young age and made it his mission to plug other holes in a system that sometimes leaves vulnerable children behind. Scotty became a volunteer with CASA and became a court appointed special advocate. This is a hands on role that literally helps and speaks up for children when they need it most. I lost both of my parents at a young age, Scotty writes, in his push to get more people involved. But luckily, my sister was able to assume guardianship of me until my 18th birthday. I consider myself very fortunate to have been able to make the most out of a difficult situation and realize that I owe a great deal of my personal success to the opportunity I was given. Perhaps it's that. Perhaps it's just a young professional that looks out for others and makes us all better with a smile that lights up life.